Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. You're listening to another life-changing word from Pastor Kelly Anderson. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. Scripture I have, of course, I think I say this every week, is like, this is one of my favorite passages, um, but Ephesians 1, 17 through 19, and Paul said this, he said, I pray that the Lord would give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, that the eyes of your understanding would be enlightened, that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of the glorious inheritance that he has for you, and then that exceedingly great power that resides on the inside of you. He said, I want the eyes of your understanding to be enlightened. You know, that's what happens when the Holy Spirit, when we allow the Holy Spirit, when we take time to ask the Holy Spirit, to give us strategy, to to bring a scripture, to bring a passage. And when we employ God in our life, you know, that's when revelation happens in your life. And when you have revelation, that's where you have change. When you have revelation, that's where you have transformation in your life, is when you have revelation. And Paul knew this because it was a revelation that changed his life. When he had a revelation of who Jesus was and a revelation of grace, man, he changed the whole world, didn't he? With his message of grace. And Paul said this, he's like, I was a Pharisee of Pharisees. He said, according to the law, I was perfect. You know, you can have a lot of information, but if you don't have revelation, it can lead to destruction in your life. It can destroy things, it can destroy your life. We need revelation. You know, when I was um, dealing with fear, a lot of fears in my life, when I was in my 20s and in my 30s, I had a lot of information about how to overcome fear, but it wasn't until I had a revelation that He has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. And when that became revelation in my life, that is when the fear began to fall off of me. And I was no longer afraid of things that normally would make me be very, very terrified. That fear came off because the revelation, Jesus said that his, I said this earlier, that his words are truth, but they are also their spirit and they are life. And that life comes on the inside of you and it transforms you and it makes you a different person and it and it lines you up with all that God has for you in your life. My daughter Katie, um, it was an Easter Sunday and you know, they're up here. They, they do all this praise and worship for us on, on an Easter Sunday. But Easter Sunday is like a big Sunday. So they all look, you know how it is here on Easter Sunday. She showed up and she was just, she did her set. And then she just was just not feeling good at all. And she sat back in the, in the pew over there. And as she sat down, she just began to pray. You know, when we seek the Lord, when we take time to pray, He gives you a scripture, He gives you a passage, He gives you a strategy in that moment. But she said, Lord, take this sickness away from me. Lord, heal me, heal my body. I, I have this stuff to do today. Lord, I just call on your healing power. And you know what the Lord spoke to her in that moment? He said, get up, take up your mat and walk. You know, He had reminded her He had reminded her of a passage in the Bible where Jesus had healed a lame man at the pool of Bethesda. And she just remembered just that little thing. Get up, take up your mat and walk. And when she stood up in that moment, she said the sickness came off of her and she was able to lead worship that entire Easter Sunday. What was that? See, Jesus comes to give us revelation. And he's always, he's, he's an ever-present help in your time of need, no matter what you need in your life, no matter the business deal or the relationship or the marriage situation or healing in your body. He is that ever-present help in your time of need. We just have to take that moment and say, God, help me. I draw on you. Holy Spirit, help me in this moment. Amen. Okay, let's just receive our tithes and offerings. Father God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just praise you and thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for this church. We thank you for this opportunity now to sow. And Lord, just bless it now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 